William, where are you coming from? It's nine o'clock. Office closes at five. Don't you ask me one question, woman. I do what I want to, and I pay the bills here. And I come home whenever I feel like it, so I do what I please. Well, I can't be in a marriage like this. I am a woman, and I need love, your love and affection. And you're not able to provide that for me, then I'm just going, I'm just gonna have to file for divorce. What the hell did you say to me, woman? All I'm saying is that I, if I am your wife, you need to treat me as such, not as your maid or servant. I, I feed you. I put, I, I, I put a roof over your head. And I buy you pretty clothes. And I put a ring on your finger. You are a wife and that's it. So keep it pushing and shut your damn mouth. You cannot talk to me like this. Shut up and stop telling me what I can and cannot do. I am the man of this house. Now shut up and go in there and get me something to eat. Did you not hear me? Did you not hear what I said? Huh? I said. Go in there and get me something to eat. Are you deaf? Go in there and get me something to eat. I'm not doing it. What the hell did you say to me? I'm not doing it. I am not your slave. I'm not gonna get anything to eat for you. But I know. You will get in the kitchen and start whipping me up some dinner before I start whipping you. No, I'm not your slave and I don't deserve this treatment. You done lost your damn mind. <laughs> no, I'm not your slave, don't treat me. Oh. No, no, please, no. I'm gonna teach you some manners. It's respect that you need to learn. No, What did you listen, huh? Now shut your mouth. Yeah. Why don't you act like a wife? And then I won't have to whip you. You act like a child and I'm gonna let you have it. Now go out there and make me some dinner. Now. Who knew that whipping my wife would put some speed and urgency into her? Hmm. That's good. That's really good. You okay? Okay. You don't want to talk to me. You know, if you'd be an obedient wife, I wouldn't have to hit you. 
<laughs> I don't want to hit you. It pains me to hit you. I mean, it hurts me more than it does hurt you to hit you. I mean, why you want to put me through all that pain to hit my beautiful wife? You want to buy? No. Okay. Suit yourself. What the hell? What the hell? It's 12 a.m. at night. Who could that be? Do you have somebody coming over here? No, I don't have nobody coming up over here. You gotta go see what is this. Who's at the door? It's me, Marcel. Marcel, it is 12 a.m. at night. What the hell do you want? I know, I'm sorry for coming over so late, but can I speak with Janet for a second? Janet, how are you doing? I'm okay, what's going on? Come out here for a second, I need to talk to you. Hold on. What do you need to be talking to my wife without me being able to hear? What the hell is going on? It is 12 a.m. at night. Janet, come with me, now. Wait, I know what the hell's going on. Hello? Janet, I mean it! Get back here! Come on, come on, come on. Damn. Please leave your message after the tone. Come on, Janet. It's been four days. I've been trying to call you, but you're not picking up. Come on. Uh, God damn it. Can't take this woman. Hello? Are you William Wright? Yeah? Well, what are y'all doing here for? You're under arrest. What for? For assault and battery of your wife. But I didn't do anything. I didn't even touch her. What, what the? Where's your evidence? The evidence will be presented to you down at the station. Let's go. What the? Oh my goodness. William 
lost his entire life and went to prison. As for Janet, she met someone new and remarried with kids. You should never take advantage of your significant other. Love is valuable, so you should cherish it. Here's what could have happened had William made better choices. And I wanted you to feel special. Oh, wait a minute. Today's not our anniversary, babe. Today's June 6th. Our anniversary is on September the 3rd. How could you get that confused? No, that was when we got married. But today is when I first laid eyes on you. And we went to go have ice cream, and my cone fell, and you gave me yeah, some of yours. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, I have a surprise on my own just for you. Wait, what? You have a surprise? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Marcel, please come in. Babe, what's going on? Why is Marcel here? Hey, William, how are you? I'm fine. I'm just a little confused about why you're here and what's going on. Just pop the balloon, honey. Why do I need to pop the balloon? Just, just, just pop the balloon. Just do it. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Baby. Pregnant. What? Pregnant. <laughs> We're pregnant. We're pregnant. Oh my god. Oh my god. The moral of the story is thousands of women are being physically, verbally, and emotionally abused each day. It's time for the violence to end. Protect our women. Stand against domestic 